shit, load the clip, get your fucking wig split. All right, welcome back to the channel, everyone. Welcome back to the backyard. Now, I know it's been a while since I talked to you guys, so to start off the video, I just wanna say thank you for your continuous support. Thank you for always showing love in the comment section. I might not reply to a lot of your comments, but I always notice them, and I'm truly glad that I'm able to inspire so many of you out there, so thank you guys, and uh, continue to be by my side. Now, the backyard trainings are happening in full force, and uh, the Bar family is now also back in full roster since uh, Vals has returned from UAE after being away for a year. Uh, working as a coach over there. Anyways, big announcement to make in today's video. Um, after a three-year break from competing, I will be stepping on the stage as a competitor again. I have accepted the invitation to compete at the Street Workout Ultimate Battles 5. For me, it's gonna be my first competition over a three-year period and my first world-level competition since my World Championship victory in uh, 2019. In today's video, most of my training sessions are going to consist of uh, overall freestyle training, all aspects of it, so statics, dynamics, uh, strength moves and power moves. My main focus right now is more towards uh, getting as comfortable as possible with uh, dynamic flows and some specific power moves, increasing the overall length and difficulty of my uh, combinations. And besides that, it's also to improve my overall endurance so that I don't get too fatigued uh, in between competition rounds. So we'll see what combos I can manage to bang out. I'm also really looking to max out on my strength combos during these last trainings because I will be in Spain five days before the competition already, so it's gonna be more or less like a deload week for me. So right now during my trainings, I'm not holding back at all. Now, I also have some great news in terms of uh, future content. Uh, after the competition is done, I'm leaving Madrid and uh, going to Valencia where I will stay with Mike for two more weeks training and shooting content. So you can finally expect the uh, long awaited YouTube collaboration between uh, me and Mike the Saiyan again. All right, let's get to the training action of the video. Um, quick reminder for you guys to use my code DLXRHSM for 10% off at racingheartsteadymind.com. They recently came out with two new pieces, uh, the movement t-shirt and the God Mode tank, which is 100% my new favorite top for training. And these right here are my go-to wrist straps that you see me rocking most of the time from RHSM. Uh, black and white color and they're double-sided so there's a different design on each side. All the links are gonna be in the description down below. Now let's get started and bless this backyard setup with some uh, competition prep flows. Incrimination, incrimination. What fuck is this? Who wants ice cream? I take one, wait. I'm gonna eat this, thank you. No, 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 no. I mean, he on diet. He mad diet. Had one job. That one job is not to fuck up. Ah! 
Never a good feeling when you rip a hand, especially at this time. One week out of the competition, we have a situation. This is like the worst time for this to happen. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Disrespect to shooters women. They'll make your mom stay. Two hoes lonely cause I never got the time. White trash out the slime. Man, I'm smoking on the pine. Bitch. Bump that fucking shit. Yeah, man, kick that shit. As you can see, we have decided to switch training locations for this specific session. We're at the beautiful Mayor Beach Bar setup and I'm about to go for a new unlock today. More of an old unlock, if that makes any sense, but uh, yeah, I've decided to bring back one specific move that I used to have in my arsenal, but over time I just stopped doing it. It's the P-Bar front flip, but not the dismount, the one where you do the flip right after the swing and then re-catch the P-Bars and then preferably go right into a full punch hole straight after you've got the front flip. That's how I used to do it back in the day when showcasing this move in some of the past competitions and the reason I want to bring it back is because it used to be one of my signature moves in a way uh, not as much as the one on frontly where but still like I remember being one of the first athletes in the calisthenics scene to uh, come up with this move and pull it off the way I did so we're gonna be attempting that in today's video as well as a matter of fact I'm about to finish warming up and send it right now so wish me luck guys it's been years since I've done this move so I can already feel the adrenaline rushing, but I'm loving it, so hopefully it goes well. Not made a YOLO, bro. Then in the phone, no stop back. Then I was hitting the oldest shots. TV on the phone to the hold up, and then knock to the door, just drop. Those in the can just swap the rice crispy for the death. Bad man, brace. Dirsa, Dirsa. Whoosh. Decent as hell, yo. For the first try, I didn't expect that. I didn't expect this for the first try. Pretty decent. DJ Cal. Easy. Derby, Derby. Catch that shit, catch that shit, let's go! Whoosh! Hold your boy! Second try? Two tries is what it took, yo. You, you know why? You know why? Because double champ does what the fuck he wants. Next attempt. Never take a re center or Yeah, think a shake. Re catch and keep the plunge. No, no, you know what you're doing. If you do, did it definitely. Inspecting the technique. I think for this one, like if I catch the front flip, I might as well just directly into full plunge. Let's see. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oosh. It's all good, it's all good. Grab that shit. Got this. Let's go! Oosh. Missed the bar again. A little bit forward. Forward, yeah? Okay. I'm surprised how actually the first two attempts were better than the next two, but I'm pretty sure I'm just a couple of attempts away and uh, we'll have the front flip to full plunge on lock and then after that I have a couple of ideas of how to combine the P-bar front flip into a new combo. Oh. Oh, that was not 
I did. It needs to be way cleaner than that. I think my leg still hit the ground, so we keep going. More attempts to be done. Yeah, boss. Ooh. That was the most sketchy one so far. Holy shit, bro. I can feel I'm starting to get fatigued, uh, but not really physically. It's more the mental fatigueness because moves like these, they require a lot of mental alertness and mental clarity. So slightly more rest in between and we're back at it. Oh, stack. Oh, hold. Right, that was the best one so far. Let's go. of inspiration? One word. One word? One word I got for you, dude. Fucking God mode, bro. God mode. Yeah, sir. Yeah, sir. Same approach, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Seems about right. Up! 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 That was heavy as fuck. the job's done the p-bar front flip has been successfully brought back so we're wrapping up the beach session and i'll see you guys back home at the backyard it's a pity you didn't know when you started your game of murder that i was playing too
بشو وا 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 Alright guys, I'm gonna be slowly wrapping up the video right here. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the concept as I decided to give you guys a closer look into the behind the scenes. The final weeks of prep have been challenging but also pretty successful I'd say. I guess you could say that the comp prep actually started last year already even though I didn't know if and when I'm gonna be competing anywhere. That's something that my training partner, my brother Paul, told me the other day. He said, you know, if it wasn't for the non-stop heavy training grind that we've been on, uh, more seriously than ever since last summer pretty much that uh, there would be no comfort right now and it really hit me in that moment I said you know you're damn right that's very true because how hard you work in the off season is what really determines and how good of a shape you're gonna be in for the actual comp prep when you're, let's say, a couple of weeks out from the competition. Like if we look at the bigger picture, then in those very last few weeks, you can't really improve by much. There's not enough time left to be dedicated towards uh, making progress in one specific sector that you're lacking in, for example. And certainly not enough time to make any significant progress. So during this period, it's way more about just perfecting the craft and cleaning up and really strengthening your current level that you've managed to achieve uh, up until the final comp prep weeks. But for me, the competition prep doesn't end with just training. Um, another huge part of the prep for me is cutting weight, so the diet is a lot more strict and I'm doing more cardio. For cardio, my main choice of burning calories is cycling. I normally do anywhere from 8 up to 40 kilometers and usually I do my cardio either right after strength training or on rest days together with my stretching sessions. So that's what's up after the competition prep. I um, thought I'd give you guys a little more insight and documentation of the whole process and the current stage of training. Let me know what you guys think, I hope it was entertaining. Um, any feedback in the comment section is appreciated, so I'll see you guys in the next video, all the way from Spain already. Peace out.